we're all gonna stop working <laughs> for the second time today. Because we've been preparing and now we're gonna decorate the Christmas tree. Right. Super secret inner diocesan office stuff going on here. Every year, churches across the world will decorate Christmas trees with Chrismon ornaments. Chrismons are decorations upon which are found Christian symbols. In a season of commercialized Christmas, these ornaments inspire us. They help us to remember that Christmas is the celebration of Jesus' birth. Chrismons were first created in the 1950s by a woman named Frances Kip Spencer at a Lutheran church in Danville, Virginia. Frances was in charge of decorating the church tree and decided that she wanted it to be decorated in a way that would be more suitable for the sanctuary. Inspired truly by the Holy Spirit, Francis reimagined the traditional Christmas tree then as a birthday cake for Jesus and thought of placing his name and title on it. But instead of doing this in English, she used Greek monograms. Simple monograms of Jesus Christ as well as a few crosses decorated that first tree in Francis' home church. As the beauty and meaning of Chrismons attracted people, she added other designs which were signs and symbols used by the earliest Christians. Francis even inaugurated the use of the word Chrismon, which is a combination of Christ and monogram. Chrismons can be made from nearly anything and are traditionally colored white and gold. White is the liturgical color of Christmas and symbolizes that Jesus was pure and perfect. Gold symbolizes his majesty and his glory. Our tree at your diocesan office is decorated with needlepoint chrismons that were created by people in our congregations. Bishop Payne wanted to honor a true servant of the diocese, Dolly Bush, for her three years of service and devotion as the diocesan altar guild directress. Bishop Payne secretly invited every altar guild to stitch at least one Chrismon ornament for the new tree. As soon as admin arrived, Dolly came to the office to decorate the tree with the Chrismons given in her honor, and for many years, Dolly continued to decorate that office tree. Chrismons as ornaments are more than monograms. They inform us about Jesus Christ. They are a type of gospel storytelling, if you will. Chrismons always pointed beyond themselves to God. Indeed, the vital feature of the concept is that each design must proclaim some truth about God as seen in Jesus. I hope that you'll take the opportunity this year to look at the Chrismon tree in your church. Perhaps you will think of Mrs. Spencer. I think as I reflect on this story, I am struck most about the holiness of a simple task of decorating a tree and how it has spread the gospel across the world and invited the telling and retelling of Jesus' birth. Perhaps you will be drawn to imagine how God's creative inspiration may be working in your life to tell the story of Jesus Christ. We hope that you will have a Merry Christmas and that the incarnation of God will be present in all of your holiday celebrations this year. Many blessings to you.